Joe Rogan. Uh, his podcast, the Spotify podcast, the Joe Rogan Experience, has gotten backlash for spreading misinformation about COVID. Now, several artists have pulled their music from the music streaming platform to urge the company to take action against COVID misinformation on the platform. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle released a statement to express their concerns to Spotify. They said, uh, we have continued to express our concerns to Spotify to ensure changes to its platform are made to help address this public health crisis. We look to Spotify to meet this moment and are committed to continuing our work uh, together as it does. Are you shocked that people keep spreading misinformation about COVID? And what is it about Joe Rogan that got him getting $100 million? And he also said some other nonsense about Black people uh, that only why the rest of us that are not uh, the actual color Black dare to call ourselves Black. He doesn't get it. Another one. Mind your business, Joe Rogan. It's Black people business. Has nothing to do with you. <laughs> what do you think about this? Let's go to you, Will. Listen, people stay spreading misinformation about COVID. I feel like at the moment we're in that stage where everyone's got a conspiracy theory. Everyone's got, got something to say. But Joe Rogan should know better, man. I also think that it's a bit weird that Spotify didn't have a feature where when someone speaks about COVID, it comes up with a notification. You know how Instagram does as well? Mm -hmm. Where if you post something about COVID, it has like a, a little icon at the bottom. And I, I think that's a bit weird. But anyways, I'm happy that Meghan and Harry have spoken out. I love Meghan and Harry. They're doing the right thing. Obviously, Meghan and Harry have got a deal, haven't they, with Spotify? So they are obviously working with Spotify. And they want to make sure that the brand they're working with is very much in line and doing what they should be doing. They can't be putting out false information about COVID. We are literally in a whole pandemic we have not got time for people to be telling lies. So big up Meghan and Harry for doing the right thing. And you're a little leader over there, been lying and being out in public and <laughs> hanging out. Boris over there, right? <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, everyone's talking about Boris Johnson here right now because my guy has been having parties when we were all in lockdown. But that is another story for another day. We're fuming over here. We're living. He's giving frat, drunk frat boy with the hair and the, the red face. He just always looks a hot Honestly, ass Honestly, allegedly. The amount of parties that Boris Johnson's had in lockdown, I've been, I, I've been to less in my life. So this guy <laughs> has been abusing his freedom here. Al, what do you think about the Spotify story and Joe Rogan? And why does he get so many passes? He's because, like the hero. You know, Joe Rogan is the Howard Stern of Spotify. Um, you know, when I worked at, <laughs> when I worked at Sirius XM, um, Howard Stern had his, his own division. So he was a part of Sirius, but he wasn't a part of Sirius. Like he had his own booking team. He had his own talent team. He had his own everything. We know that Joe Rogan has about 11 million listeners, allegedly. Um, I, I, I just, it's just a double standard. They get away, they get to get away with things that they get away with when they have friends like the CEO of Spotify in their corner. You know, he he did add a content advisory uh, to Joe Rogan's um, experience, the podcast. What exactly is that going to do? It's not going to stop him from talking and, or, uh, you know, giving false information. As it relates to Prince um, Harry and Meghan, it's so interesting to me. I was waiting for them to find their voice in America and get behind a cause. I thought it was very interesting that they got behind COVID-19. With me personally, I thought they were going to get behind something media related because, you know, the media kind of forced his mother's death and, and all of that drama. Or if they didn't get behind that, I thought maybe they would get behind something like Black Lives Matters or something race based, given the racism that she experienced with her kids being called monkeys and he watching his wife go through uh, that whole racial debacle. So I don't know. I have mixed feelings about them now having a, a strong voice about COVID-19, but not having a strong voice about other things. 